Steve May. I uh, work for Fremont and Sanders at Kisenbury near Northampton. I'm spraying about 640 hectares um, for various clients and ourselves. Um, we are growing wheat, barley, oats, oilseed rape and beans. Uh, I use a John Deere 740 sprayer um, coupled to a 625R John Deere. Um, 24 metres wide. I've completed my basis diploma. I've been doing basis courses for the last sort of seven years, sort of course every year, um, so which I find really interesting. I really like learning and, and helps me mentally um, getting out into the field, being able to identify weeds and diseases and um, knowing which fungicides and herbicides we're using. Uh, yes, it's a big help. Um, uh, my top tip um, is to make up a sprayer applications manual, um, which you can do in your spare time and your downtime, perhaps over the winter when the nights are long and you're a bit bored. Okay, so this is the, uh, <coughs> the sprayer applications manual I've set up. In here we've got <coughs> emergency procedures, uh, emergency action plan, the sprayer on the road, we have an incident. Uh, Chemical Company's technical helpline, um, a map of all the drains and where the waters run to in the yard, um, all the buffer zones, um, Lee Rap advice doing the Lee Rap, and then we've got various or well, lots of different buffer zones mapped for the farm, and we've got um, the adjuvant tree, so we know which adjuvant, adjuvants we're using. Pesticide registration, we're checking out uh, map numbers, and then applications advice for lots of different um, chemicals and crops. So, another top tip would be to uh, make sure we've got plenty of all clear in the spray shed um, because you'll never quite know. If something changes and you have to change to another chemical and you need a quick clean out. Um, always have a can of anti-foam handy um, just in case you get yourself into a bit of a foaming pickle in. Right? So uh, another top tip always uh, make sure you've got a good weather app on your phone um, that way you can keep a close eye on the weather if you've got a bit of a showery day and you can see a shower coming you can stop before you get into the pickle basically. So the weather app I prefer at the moment is the Met Office weather app. So it seems to be very accurate and up to date.